a modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French Ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take... in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe. Family-oriented fun. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812, the Civil War, and God knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Now, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA-DOD task force. 
was a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished <sighs> Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Lincoln, pick up the keys. Keys in another room. Grab them so we can get the hell out of here. Still not sure about leaving him like this. <laughs> <laughs> And that's that. Goddamn. <laughs> we should get going. You got the keys so you can drive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Get a move on. Let's go.
Let's go, man. Come on, Lincoln, we burning daylight. You get a move on. Let's go. Let's go, man. The clock's ticking. Come on, Lincoln, we burning daylight. How long you gonna carry him around? We need to get... Let's go, man. The clock's ticking. Crawling up our asses. The old man wanted us to keep one of the guards alive, help throw the feds off the trail. Like you said, I'll take a chance. Besides, if I learn anything from being over in Nam, someone's willing to flip sides once, they're probably willing to do it a second time. Fuck you in the process. So answer me this. It's the craziest thing you saw today. You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh. Are well, you going to answer the question or what? Yeah. We're on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran and everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship. This woman walks up. She's got a baby in one hand and a leash to a pig in the other. Starts up the ramp, and the MP stops and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says, dude? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you ask. 
<laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off the sun. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault. But not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day, you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall. They would do anything to survive. That better than one delicious fucking pig. Missouri probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, ain't like I've never been called nigga before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? <sighs> Affirmative action. You know how How's it going? Old country is spinning around the goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burn room. How much y'all bring in? Two hundred thirty-eight thousand five hundred forty-six dollars. Small bill, Come mostly. Through. I'll have Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. Grab that money, boy.
Need to check that scattergun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One last goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying room's down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. And my cousin's been trying to... Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a god fearing white man can't get a job. Lay your nigga who staggers in his high on the spot. Get a 20% discount on anything on the menu. Bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Put those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yeah, some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. I told him I wasn't interested. No, I never was neither till I saw this. At least with oil, we don't get soot all over the goddamn place. Used to be we'd have a nigga come in with a hose, wash all the shit off the walls.
shuffling around on account of the war. Yeah, it's simple. Uh -huh. Some heat right there. You keep posted and we'll be able to go back and switch over to oil. Ain't well, got more consistent him flame. See if some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Trying to switch me over to oil. Consistent flame. See if some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Nah, that's a that's a fucked up death, bro. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Uh, give me a second. <clears throat> I know what the fuck I'm doing. We've been renting out. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30 day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it. Not only that, I know he's friends with a couple of niggas, and they go over there at night and play cards. Told John when they moved in that I wouldn't tolerate niggas on my property. Neighbors see that, they start questioning me, wanting to know the kind of people I associate with. Let the niggas play cards with other niggas, I say. Fucking assholes. Sorry. It just gets my blood boiling. He's right there. Oh. Ready to nail him. Uh. Oh. It comes the cavalry, boy. <laughs> oh. we've been renting out called over there last night told them i wanted to sell it told them they needed to be out in two weeks the man, his name's John, starts laying into me saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice that's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks so i tell him none of that's my goddamn problem it's my property and i'll do with it what i please if it brings up that fucking lease again i'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it not only that I know he's friends with a... Huh? Lincoln, get over here, man.
Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Danny's done drilling. Hey, you gonna pull this off. I'll kick the hornet's nest this time. The only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. <sighs> Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Mm, you dirty fucking whore! God damn it, why won't this... Give me that damn thing. 
Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. What the hell are you doing? There he is. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms driven <laughs> the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. Never will. Keep your ass out of the trouble. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. There he is. <laughs> How was the trip? Being out, this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm.
Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. It'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. Then call and ask me if I want something. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into hell and that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the Fed. How we don't need Jay Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fuck it, it's your car. Bash it up all you want. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over at Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. He'll still clear the hollow in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kitty pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Okay. All right. Miss? Once you get settled in, I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double date it. Well, who the hell am I going to go with? Your great Aunt Beatrice? Oh, God. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? <sighs> that woman has the droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. <laughs> they were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey, man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna want to dig right in. <laughs> Matter of fact. She got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around, asking her out. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait and see, man. One look and your pecker's gonna pop right out. <laughs> <laughs>
wall or going through the front? I ain't having your wall here. I ask you to back up. Where have you been? How you doing? 